Now to the story of a dog owner who wasn't about to let a cougar kill his best friend. The big cat snatched up the small pet and took off right in front of the Langford man. So he chased it down, caught the cougar, and then delivered a knockout blow. CTV Scott Cunningham is following this story. He's live now with more. Andrew, a battle between a man and a cougar is proving to many just how deep the bond can be between a man and his dog. Reach back and punch the cougar in the face. He's a member of a very exclusive club. Sean Hansen took on a cougar and won. With, even with all the adrenaline flowing and that, it was like, wow, I just, you know, got into a bit of a scrap with a cougar and, you know, I actually punched one or, you know, and actually touched one. It happened last Friday near Yuklulit on Salmon Beach. Back on shore after a fishing trip, it was Sean's miniature dash hound, Bailey, that became the catch of the day. It latched on the back, so she's got a bunch of little puncture marks in the a back. A thin, here. malnourished cougar still... darted into the bush with the dog in its grasp. It was then that Sean did the improbable, the seemingly impossible. I just wanted to get my dog back, and that it was, it was I was going to run until I got the, uh, got the cougar. Giving chase, he ran the cougar down. Punching it in the face, the animal dropped his pet. Sean then got his shotgun. Wanting to scare it away, he fires a warning shot. The cougar walks towards him. You know, unfortunately, yes, it's, uh, you know, it had to be, you know, I had to discharge my, my rifle, but um, it was, you know, being aggressive in a manner in that, that it was coming towards me. If it, if it wouldn't have attacked me, it would have attacked someone else. Like, woo, 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 woo. <laughs> like, it's not the first close cougar encounter this year. So I might have to fight for my life here. In January, Ted Benson chased a large cougar out of his Yuklul at home. Are things normal right now? They're on the high end of normal. We've had a, a, a pretty high volume of cougar calls into our Cougar calls. activity is up this year, according to the province, 200 calls on Vancouver Island since April. In Sean's case, conservation officers had been tracking the starving cat and say his deadly actions were justified. Before they starve to death, they'll do whatever they can in order to get food. And that's when you see them sometimes coming into urban areas, sometimes preying on, on livestock or pets that they see as a bit more vulnerable and easy to catch. Don't know what we would have done if we would have lost this little thing. In Langford, Sean isn't proud that he killed a cougar, but doesn't apologize for saving his best friend. With so much cougar activity on the island, the question is, what should you do if your dog is taken by a mountain cat? Well, according to conservation officers, not exactly what Sean did. If you can, call RCMP or conservation officers and wait for professionals who say Sean was lucky the cougar wasn't healthy or this story could have had a much different ending, Andrew. Glad we got the ending we got. Me too. Thank you, Scott.